Hi my loves, welcome to another episode of Chats with Sarah Donald and today we're going to be talking about how to set boundaries in friendship, relationship, any kind of relationship, be it platonic, situationship, love, real, romantic relationship, whatever it is, but we're definitely going to be focusing on setting boundaries with friends. Now, um, I just started setting boundaries in my 30s. Yes, I'm a woman in her 30s who started setting boundaries in her 30s. I didn't used to set boundaries before. For me, it was anything went. And I realized that I attracted the people that I don't deserve, but I was attracting them. So what, you know when things happen to people and they say, this person doesn't deserve it, but you go back and say, what did I do to deserve this kind of friend what did i do to attract this kind of friend not deserve attract so i realized that i was attracting people because in my head i knew boundaries i knew the things that i didn't want to do and sometimes consciously not do it to people so that they just get the message and i feel like they will reciprocate but that was not the case now i attracted the people who did not respect my boundaries who had no respect for boundaries and who had no respect for my boundaries so the first thing to do when setting boundaries is to first of all take responsibilities for the times that people did not respect your boundaries because you did not set clear boundaries yeah and the next thing to do to set um boundaries is to look at areas in your life where you need to set boundaries it could be you don't like people coming to your apartment without telling you you don't like people touching your stuff without telling you you don't like people going to your bag to you you might probably be listening to this and say is that not normal but mind you some people do not mind and some people have had friends who didn't mind these behaviors and they felt like since you all were friends if you don't mind if the other person doesn't mind they automatically feel like you don't mind so look at areas in your life where you want to set these boundaries and why and one of the one time i set boundaries without even knowing that i was setting boundaries was i have a friend who will tell you some things that will hurt you but joke about it and call it a joke now you might take it when they are alone but i noticed that this person will go as far as saying it where a third party is so probably something i could laugh about if it's just us even though i don't like it because the thing about friendship is that it can be 100 percent. sometimes you bend you know what i mean especially when it's not permanent you bend but i noticed that this person will say this thing in front of other people and you know it will be a joke and i didn't even know i was setting boundaries when i called this person and i said hey i know that you joke about it i know it's a joke but i actually do not find it funny and obviously the normal you know for a lot of people they get defensive like oh i'm sorry but it was just a joke my love i understand that it was a joke but next time you you know say that stuff again especially in front of people i will not be hanging out with you and then it was at that point that this person knew that it was actually serious yeah so there are times in my life that i had set boundaries that until i started studying more about boundaries i didn't even know it was boundaries let's talk about like drinking for instance i know how to hold my glass and everybody <laughs> knows how to they know their limits and i for one know my limits <clears throat> now sometimes you go out with friends they want you to have fun and they're trying to you know have you take more drinks like just take the next one just take the next one and you know that you're not like them like these guys can have like five shots and the next day they wake up they're going to work they're acting like absolutely nothing is happening and you know your head you know that if i do more than two that i'm going to have a bad day the next day and setting boundaries is saying things like i i am going to go with you but i will not be having more than two drinks and i realize that whenever we go out together you insist that i have drinks knowing that this messes up my next day so i will not be going out with you again if this is what's going to keep happening so i want to be there i love you and i want to share that space with you but I am not going to lose my next day or lose my job 
because of it. At that time, I didn't even know that I was setting boundaries until I started studying more about boundaries. And a friend of mine came to me as well to tell me of a friend who, okay, so you know how you have friends that you like hanging out with and every time she's hanging out with her friend, she's the one to pay and her friend comes with another friend making it like she's going to pay for two people that's plus herself three and this person just kept doing it and you know every time like she didn't she didn't talk about it she'd be like okay it's fine they've done this but Cutsy demands that if i'm paying for you bringing someone else like you need to now ask like hey i'm coming with this person is it fine or you take the person's bill and one day my friend looked at her account and noticed that not just was this person coming with people she was spending more on them so you you're going out you know your budget you probably say okay i'm going to take a cocktail and this but because you're not these guys are not the ones paying they go for the most expensive thing on the menu and she called the girl and she was like you know what um i love you i love hanging out with you but you're going to have to start taking care of your bills and any other person that you're coming with but i will be taking care of my own since you know you don't have the you're not disciplined enough to know that even though i'm since i'm taking care of your bill you need to follow my step like i cannot be ordering something of hundred dollars and then you're ordering something of three hundred dollars i'm bringing someone else who is ordering something of four hundred dollars like how where do I make that kind of money so it's even if you make that kind of money so there are certain places where you need to set boundaries so you need to ask yourself why am I setting these boundaries how does it make me feel another example is people that send you stuff you know to your phones and some people tell you the way to they're trying to describe something to you and they will send it to you as raw as it is without even asking are you okay with seeing things like this and i had a friend that was just so good at sending only the bad things that happen in this world and she will send it to you like that you know she will not even ask is this what you're willing to see she's sending it to you all raw and obviously you know that for whatsapp it has two options it has the one that um tells you if you like if they can automatically download with wi-fi so i didn't even know that that part was on i'll just come to my phone and i'm seeing this very nasty thing that spoils my day like it's bad enough for you to tell me but seeing the visuals especially when i wasn't expecting it and i respectfully told her that if she continues to send me things like this that i was going to block her like we could still be friends but i'm going to block you because they make me feel uncomfortable yeah coming to my home personally for me coming to my house unannounced is something i don't do um so look at areas in your life where do you feel uncomfortable maybe when you're with your friends they make jokes about your ex and you know that because i broke up with this person just it's just because it didn't work and your friends are feeling like let me mock the ex let me show you this ex like oh my god your ex fell down yesterday because they feel like that will make you happy but they don't know that they're just rubbing a fresh wound so it's okay to say you know what i don't want to talk about my ex like i don't want you guys to talk about my ex like you're my friend if i bring it up if i talk about it indulge me listen to me but don't talk about my ex don't say me things about my ex don't don't bring that like to my space like no and you know you can also set boundaries when you're going through stuff and you're not willing to talk about it maybe you're the type that processes things before you can actually speak about it but you have friends who continuously poke you and you find yourself talking about things when you are not ready have that conversation like it's a conversation have that conversation which brings me to the next one which is to set boundaries you need to communicate do not assume you need to have that you know as a growing woman one thing that i didn't used to do in my 20s was i didn't used to have uncomfortable conversations but in my 30s i talk about everything i talk about finance i talk about the most uncomfortable um conversation like let's have that conversation it's five minutes and it saves us like years of our friendship having that communication 
and not just assuming. Um, when I used to stay with my sisters, we set boundaries around like when we decided that we were going to stay together, everybody knew like, this is what I don't like. This is what I don't like. For instance, if somebody is coming to the house, you must inform everyone on the group and it's not okay to just type it. You need to call if you see that somebody hasn't responded. Like, so the rule is somebody's you're coming in with someone, you text and say, Hey, I'm coming in with this person. And whoever doesn't respond, you have to call them before you can come in with that person. Do not just assume because of, obviously we're ladies. Even if you're bringing like a lady, we just might not be comfortable seeing the person. So if it's someone that we're not interested in seeing, you can go to your room. Like we had those very clear boundaries and it's something that we talked about. We didn't just say, let's assume that this will happen. We're like, oh no, no, no. Like, I understand that you have friends, you understand that I have friends, but this is it. Down to sleepovers, like, okay, if someone is sleeping over, this is how long the person can stay. Because you're they're staying with your even though they're your siblings, you you guys are sharing bills. So you can't just bring somebody to come and live there for one month without having conversations about that. So it helped us to have like a very fantastic relationship living together. We didn't have issues. Like I was scared at first, like, okay, we're going to have issues. This is the first time since we were kids that we're going to be staying together. But it was so easy because before we went into it, we agreed. We talked about like the things we didn't like and the things we liked and the things we didn't mind and the ones we were willing to compromise on because that's relationship for you. What are you willing to compromise on that will not you know, necessarily hurts you. So yeah, having that conversation and when you're having, com when you're having the conversation, when you're communicating, communicate with love because this is somebody that you love, especially when this is the first time you're telling the person, this is your friend, this is your family, this is your blood, like communicate with the person with like be nice about it. Give the person a benefit of doubt that the person was just being ignorant. Like give the person a benefit of doubt. Like I know you didn't plan to bring me down, but just in case of next time, I don't want that. Like, I know you're trying to share this amazing, this news, but I will appreciate you don't do this. Like, even recently, I told someone, like, I have a friend that if she doesn't give you five missed calls or ten, she has not stopped. Like, why? I'm not with your destiny. Why will you be calling me ten times? And then when you pick, she just say, no, I just called to say hi. Or and oh, the you know, the first time she did it, I ignored. The second time, the third time, I was like, my love you know there's something called text message right or whatsapp like if you call me once i don't pick maybe to stretch a bit twice and i don't pick the next thing to do is to send me an sms especially when that's not reason like give me doubt that give me that benefit of doubt i won't just see your call and not pick so for me not to pick it means that i'm not able to pick i'm not being able to pick doesn't mean someone said but you're online and you're not picking i <laughs> like that's respecting my boundaries like it doesn't mean that I am available to talk. Do not, um, there's a way they put that thing. It says like, don't confuse my spare time for your time. So if I'm having, if I'm chilling, watching TV, it doesn't mean I have to pick your call. But when you send me a text message, when you don't hear from me, if it's an, if it's an emergency, if it's urgent or something, you can just write urgent and I will know someone's trying to reach me today, called me twice, next in text, urgent, please speak urgent. And I immediately went out to pick because I know that, okay, this person is saying that this is extremely urgent. So yeah, um, boundaries, what part of your life makes it uncomfortable for you? Please have that communication, but be nice about the communication and use a lot of I in that conversation because it is about you. It is about your boundary. Like I will prefer you don't call me how many times I will prefer you don't speak about my ex. I will prefer you call me before you come. I will prefer you ask me for my stuff. I will prefer you don't go into my bag. I will prefer you don't do this. I will prefer you don't say that. I will prefer you don't just, just that use I. Yeah. And finally, when you're having this conversation about boundaries and when you're ready to set your boundaries, you need to have one thing in mind. It might not end well because some people are just born not to respect people's boundaries. So 
get ready to lose friendship and i feel like if you set your boundaries and you lose a friend because you set your boundaries then that person was never really your friend so good enough you set your boundaries so that person can go so get ready to know that not everyone will accept it and that's fine because your mental health is more important than any other thing so if something is making you uncomfortable and someone doesn't want to stop it and takes it like oh you don't take a joke that is fine please you can look for another friendship somewhere else so just prepare your mind to know that certain boundaries can even make you lose people that you've known for years for you know 30 years or more 20 years depends on how old you are 40 years but just know that what you're doing is the right thing that you're doing the right thing by putting yourself first because a people's pleaser is not a nice person you're causing yourself more harm because you feel like you're people pleasing but what you don't know is that you're causing yourself more harm that's not nice because if you're not nice to yourself you cannot be nice to someone else and just like i always say in almost all my um be video podcasts i always talk about this which is you cannot pour from an empty glass so your cup has to be filled before you can even think about pouring someone else so it is okay to put your mental health first and that is exactly what it should be i do hope you enjoyed it let me hear in the comment section what you think about boundaries what you like more what stood out for you and what area in your life that you are setting boundaries or you have set boundaries and please when you set your boundaries honor your boundaries thank you once again and have a blessed one